So here, right here. You are... What? You are... Let's see, whatever. You are... Uh, whatever. You are... See, if I tell you what it is, you start thinking about it. And that's not what I want you to do. You are this. And I say, uh-huh. I don't even know what that means. And this is what this is. Now you may say, oh, she's ignorant. She doesn't know. It's bad. <laughs> and no, this is not what this is. It is leaving a space open to receive something new. Of course, I can come very quickly to conclusions and say whatever pops up, whatever comes to mind is probably all right, all correct. Yet, perhaps it is not all. And if I feel not to say, I know it is not all. There is more to come. More. So science per se is not a bad thing. It's not really wrong. Because science expresses stuff mathematically or in words, what we observe. But science is dangerous if you think everything is to be depicted in science. You can't. Tell me how you depict love in science, even in your knowledge. And do you know what knowing really is? And that's what Krishnamurti says. I'm not advocating for Krishnamurti. I'm giving pointers where you may have a quick, a quick peek. And yes, sometimes it takes a while. But if you want to understand what he is saying... I know it's a she. I know it was me in another life. But if you want to understand it, see, it, it's all selfless. It's not about this person or that person. Precisely, it's about the message. And yeah, you can attach certain messages to certain people. Like you have certain brands for clothing and you know that it, that's how. Otherwise, it's not relevant. And if you wouldn't like to understand Krishnamurti, for example, in these reels, which are sometimes often longer than usual reels, you have to be silent. And if you don't understand, that's maybe a good thing. Because then you come actually nearer to what it really is. Because how could you possibly understand what can't be described in words and what is just a feeling, an emotion? But when you open up, you might as well get there. And when you follow the path, I told you, yeah, I told you so. Clean up your house. Change your perspective, what bugs you. Look at your, we all did that. You have no idea how much work. You think we are so glorifying and awesome? Yeah, we are. Because we build ourselves. Life is supposed to be lived as its fullest. But you, you consume stuff and we live. And that means a lot of things to live life. But a hint, a hint <laughs> is the appreciation, the intensity with which you observe and perceive. And that is what, again, is just as a hint. Krishnamurti says, you, ha you cannot be in judgment when you approach something. You can't judge things or attach things or say things are actually very positive. It's very, very painful to me, even if they intend to, to, to be nice right now around me. When, when they push themselves onto me without looking, it hurts very much. Constantly, I, I don't want to comment it because I don't even want to record those things. And that's precisely what they do. They have an attachment. They already think, okay, so... She has to be despised. That was a while. No, some say she doesn't have to be despised. Okay. Uh, and they have that. I, but they never look. That's the whole point. You never look. That means the moment someone tells you to do something evil, you fall in the trap and do that too. Because you just obey instructions, everything what's written in the words. So, Krishnamurti says, you can't be having a judgment. You can't say this is good and this is bad. Or this is right or this is wrong. You just don't say anything. Just shut the fuck up and look. And don't judge anything. Just look. See how you feel. And that's what most of people are afraid of. And continue looking. There's no conclusion to be drawn. Because if you think this is good, then you strive to get it. Maybe it's wrong. It can give you a whole book. Books and books and books and books have been written about it. With different titles and different names. But right now, what we wish to uh, what we wish to achieve is to achieve acknowledge the field of love. It needs to be clean and free of garbage, and that means everybody who puts their their minds to it and be mean and filthy, they're disturbing the sunshine coming through. 
which is the love. Sunshine love, love. Magnetic field. So it must it must be eliminated. You must change your mind. Or just, you know, choose not to be part of it. It's fine too. So allowing, it means a lot of things. I have something really interesting, but you see, this has been so difficult. I didn't even know that I was like so such a big caca. No, oh, yes, of course. I know I, I'm a big caca, but it's that big of a caca. I didn't know that. Because I sit there and I think about stuff and it seems almost impossible to understand. Now I'm thinking about a book, which I don't know if anybody would like to read it or not. I still think I would like, and that's the other thing. I can tell you the title. I'm not really sure what I would like to say. And I develop things, all these little reels, these videos I'm bringing up, all my wordings. It's just I develop it at the time, at the moment, as I speak. I allow the space things to happen. So maybe there is a library of information somewhere in the field. And I just access it, I tap into it and pour out that information. But I am one with that information because I'm loving it. And anything you wish to achieve, you need to be silent and observant. And yes, you need to empty your clutter out your space, your physical space. You need to eliminate the people who who draw you in or draw you in and, and dumb. You need to be silent and you need to start exploring something which is you. And you need something. For, I, I say because I'm mama. I'm mama right now for you. I say you need to have something which you actually do like. In, and in a contrast, but not opposite, to explore something you don't like for positive experience. To start a hobby, for example, anything. To have success events with stuff you enjoy, and you can change it. It's, a hobby is just to explore anything. It can last forever or for nothing, and can be changed and added no matter what. It doesn't matter. Success event, that's the point. Like, like Maria Montessori also in, indicated. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, it was me too. And then you can also explore, you know, the other things which are kind of painful and scary, but you don't diminish yourself into the nothingness when you when you have something which you can actually look forward to. It's super relevant. Yeah, I'm that person. No matter how much you hurt me, I'm still there for helping you. The moment you look, I wish to help you. That doesn't mean I trust you. I don't know if you hurt me. I'm not sure if I can trust you. I'm not sure. I just watch. I give you a chance. It's up to you.